Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel known as Only Alien Bacon, the place where you could find all of your needs and wants in life. And you could find other things as well. Today we're going to be looking at uh, things that make you facepalm. Blacks for Trump. Get it? Wait, so this guy's wearing a Trump hat and he has a shirt that this says is Blacks for Trump. Like every all these pictures have people saying, "Hell yeah, I am black and I like Trump," and they're all white. <laughs> I like how these dudes have shirts to say, "Hell yeah, I'm black and I like Trump." <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Why would you wear those? Like maybe the guy I, with the white shirt is just like supporting blacks for Trump, but these people in the back that say, "Hell yeah, are, are, yeah I am are black," literally saying, "I am black and I like Trump." <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> they're probably so stupid that they're like, yeah, the, the it means the shirt, the shirt's black. Oh yeah, it means the shirt's black. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is Pink Panther a lion? Say that again, but slower. I don't get it. He's the Pink Panther. Okay, but is he a lion? Mac, angel, light of my life. He's a panther. Is that like a kind of lion? <laughs> no, it's a fucking panther. <laughs> I I just googled. They they are not pink. And lions are. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How can you be so dumb? Is, is that like her boyfriend or so? Because she says Mac Angel, light of my life. <laughs> He's a panther. Yeah. Oh man, that's funny. This is a post by Meg. My favorite college memory was accidentally skipping class on the first Monday of deer season freshman year because I, le oh, no. I legitimately thought that was a national holiday that meant no school and didn't realize I, would, I just went to a yeehaw high school. There was, wait, there was legitimately a high school that has a, act, like, they actually get off school for deer day? That's hard to believe. I, I guess that's a thing. What? Dude, I, li I live in bumfuck nowhere where people go deer hunting all the time. And I've never, like, we've never had a day off for deer season. That's so bizarre. She must have gone to a really small high school. They're, like, the deepest parts of Texas. You yeah. Know? This is, like, hundreds of miles from any other civilization. Just one school by itself with five students in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hunting school. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> they have a deer hunting uh, sports team. <laughs> they compete against themselves. I am urged to come to my vehicle on the left because this very angry man cannot get inside his car. Find the mistake. And he's trying to get into his car. And he's... he's oh, and he's mad. Yeah. Ah, he's blaming okay. this person because he can't get in when he's the asshole that parked wrong. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Wait, did, did I ever tell you that story when I, when I lived in an apartment and uh, my really creepy neighbor, he... like almost called the cops on me because my tire was like touching his parking you know you know like you get like specific parking spots when you're in an apartment yeah. and he gets two so he parks in the middle of both of the parking spots and my car's tire was touching one of his parking spot mm. lines and he knocks on my door and tells me he's gonna call the cops on me <laughs> because holy of it. shit what yeah he was insane that's crazy like I, I was literally probably five to six feet and like anywhere close to his car <laughs> and just because my tire was on his line he said he was gonna call the cops on me that's fucking crazy dude this guy's just mad in this picture because he can't physically fit in that little space because look how fat his belly is yeah look look at that look at that stomach <laughs> look at that stop eating so many burgers e yeah, and even, if he, fit. even if he goes sideways like there's no and way. plus he can just go on the other side and scoot over like, look at all the room on the other side. At the cafe where I'm writing, the people next to me were disagreeing about the origins of, of Men in Black and said, if you'd like, I could clear that up for you. And one responded, I'm sorry, we do not need an old white male mansplation. So I apologized, and that was that. Screenplay by Ed Solomon. Oh. <laughs> He's the one that wrote the screenplay. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, imagine being that person. So, someone's trying to help you, and then you come at him saying, yeah, we don't need a man to mansplain it. 
<laughs> when you literally <laughs> fucking wrote the thing. <laughs> wow. Unreal. A man walked into a Louisiana Circle K, put a $20 bill on the counter, and asked for change. When the clerk opened the cash drawer, the man pulled a gun and asked for all the cash in the register, which the clerk promptly provided. The man took the cash from the clerk and fled, leaving the $20 bill on the counter. The total amount of the cash she got from the drawer was $15. <laughs> you lost money. <laughs> Losing $5 trying to rob a store. Well, shit luck, bro. He tried. <laughs> he really tried. Imagine going through all that. Like, he's outside like, you can do this, bro. Come on. We got this. And then he... <laughs> he's hyping himself up. He goes and he's like, come on, give me all your fucking money. And he goes out. He's like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> probably got arrested for it too <laughs> he's like come on bro come I, on bro i mean can, can you really arrest him technically he didn't steal he actually gave him money <laughs> i know he gave him a tip why does the sun look like a ceiling light <laughs> it's a reflection <laughs> unbelievable i just realized the reflection from the window was showing and it actually is a ceiling light this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> how how do you mistake that? I it's don't so understand. obvious. <laughs> uh, you think that like there's just a little hole in the clouds? <laughs> yeah, just like peeking out. <laughs> Why is it that kind of creepy dudes almost universally seem to prefer the word females over saying women? Are they trying to sound academic or something? It's like they're talking about an animal species. Let me describe my observations of the females. That's because if you refer to a female as a woman, you have to deal with the are you saying I look old problem. And if you refer to her as a girl, then you have to deal with the are you saying I look like a child problem. Probably. The workings of the female mind is such a mystery that referring to them as separate species is both the safest and most honest way to address them. Have you spoken to a single woman in your life, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> see, see, like, the dude in the middle just sounds like he's, like, saying, lol, women bad, lol, we can't understand women. I, I, at the same time, I don't see a problem in calling, like, women females at the same time. So it's like, b both sides are like, why does it My matter? biggest issue is with the first person, because he's like, oh, you can't say women unless you're, like, a weirdo who's talking about or no females you can't say females yeah that, that's what i was saying is like the middle one sounds like an incel but at the same time <laughs> the first one is just sounds annoying because like why the hell does it matter if you're called a female yeah not only have i had countless issues getting plates for a truck that is nothing but trouble when i finally get the plates they say eight dicks 24 7 thank you dmv <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome dude i i would get that as like a custom plate. <laughs> That's so good. That's so funny. I love that. Dude, why, why would you be mad about that? I would find that hilarious. I'd love it. I mean, it's either eight dicks, like you're eating dicks constantly, or you get eight, like eight. Yeah, like, eight. like you eat eight dicks every 24 or you hours. Yeah, you have eight total dicks every day. Yeah, so you always have eight dicks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> These hands, free. Come get these hands for free. Why he do two separate pictures, though? <laughs> Fuck, never mind. He had to take the picture. <laughs> because he can't take a picture with, you know, unless he did a timer. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know. I just find this whole this whole entire picture funny. It's so weird. Because, like, like, is this like a like a Facebook ad or something? Or like a Facebook ad? Like he's selling something on Facebook or something. Come get these hands for free. Come get these hands for free. He actually cut it up pretty good where like the rug <laughs> is like, it almost looks like it's one picture just cut in half. The circle is complete. Rich Davis, PhD. Uh, Ooh. Did you know that if you go anti-vax hard enough, sometimes you circle all the way back to inventing vaccines? As seen on Facebook, what a concept. I'm not anti-vax, but I understand why some parents do not want those chemicals in their children's bodies. I think instead of chem chemical shots, the doctor should give a small piece of the virus so the body can build natural immunity, like the chicken pox playdates we had as kids. So they're, just, they're describing a vaccine. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> they're literally describing what a vaccine is. <laughs> Instead of chemical shots, they say, "Wow, big brain, big brain." What 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 do they think goes in them? 
Like, what, 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 what do anti-vax people think is in vaccinations? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Some type of like hardcore poison. <laughs> it's just like fucking drugs. Only Christianity can save my family from checks notes. The European Union. <laughs> what? So Christianity protects you from gays. Co uh, the Soviet Union. <laughs> Communism. <laughs> Jews. <laughs> Communist <laughs> gays really got to tech protect our kids with that Christianity. That's such a weird ass image. All right. Yesterday, I asked my coworker to send me a description of the of the investors I'll be meeting today. This is what he sent me: black skirt, beige cardigan, sh striped white shirt, professor looking blazer, glasses, checkered skirt, beige pants, navy blue suit, glasses. <laughs> I, I feel like he, he had to he had to have done this as a meme. Must have been trolling. I, I I don't see him I don't see anyone doing this genuinely. Yeah. Like like sitting there just like looking at each one. All right, he's got yeah he's got black she's got a black skirt, beige cardigan. <laughs> like okay. he's some sort of spy. He's wearing a striped white shirt. Okay. <laughs> like hunting down criminals or something. <laughs> this is what they're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the description of them. <laughs> that, it would have been better if we gave like height yeah. weight. Asian like skin color, Asian. <laughs> yeah, hair color, all this different yeah. stuff. That'd have been funnier. Unlucky Florida man thought he was stealing opioids, but they were laxatives. I mean, it, it's it's Florida man. Like, what are you gonna when, do when you want to get high, but instead you just shit your pants? What you know? What when you want to get high, but but you actually get something even better. <laughs> you get you get a um, nice. Nice, uh, warmed up ass. Detox. A, a nice detox. Right. <laughs> That's what they call it, right? Yeah. When you shit your brains mm -hmm. out. It's a detox. This is why we can't have nice things. U.S. bank employee says she was she was fired for giving $20 of her own money to a customer who was broke and stranded at a gas station on Christmas Eve. Realizing he was only 14 miles away, James decided to drive to meet him and give him $20 of her own money to help him out in the season of goodwill one week later a senior manager at the bank fired her for having an unauthorized interaction with the customer what what you mean you mean human interaction <laughs> Wait, was she on the clock or so, something is that why what at a gas station though so it wasn't at the bank or anything i i'm so confused like even if it was on her break like I, so every every human interaction is an unauthorized interaction with the customer like if I work at any job and I go see a person outside of the job, that's an unauthorized interaction with the with the customer. <laughs> Ooh. This was funny. They 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 didn't think that would. What is it supposed to be? Their initials. Ah. Oh boy. Penal. <laughs> or, or maybe this was his way to like. To, to bring it up on the table to be like hey anal question <laughs> mark and she like this is like him surprising her like hey this is what we're gonna do right, tonight. and she's like and she's like oh finally after all after all this time <laughs> she's like hell yes you can stick it in my ass yeah all the boys out there just remember some i guess rice uh with the heart <clears throat> and anal spelling anal boom that'll get your girl to do it she'll open up those cheeks in an instant oh yeah like right there, like right on the spot. So make sure you in a private place. You don't want you don't want something happen happening in public. You can poop on your dick. I don't understand. I don't understand why they didn't just do it the other way around. Put her initials on the left. I'm assuming that the one on the right are Good her point. initials. You know, because that would just be Alan. So that'd be it'd be Alan. Yeah, yeah that's not as bad. <laughs> if you're not an eyewitness, you are a false witness. Exodius 2016. Exodius. If you didn't see it, what? Exodius. It's Exodus. <laughs> Exodus? Yeah. Is that how you say yeah. it? Bruh, I've always said Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's the weeb in you. If you're not an eyewitness, you are a false witness. Uh, if you didn't see it, you shouldn't be gossiping about it. That eliminates the Wait. gospels themselves, thanks. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Cole, do you get it? <laughs> Cole, if you understand it, explain it on the screen right now because I don't get it. If you are an eyewitness, you are a false witness. This probably has something to do with Christianity. It, you shouldn't be gossiping about it. 
He tagged no, himself. No, I get it because he says you're not an eyewitness. If you're not an eyewitness, you're a false witness. So if you haven't, if you didn't see something happen directly, then you shouldn't be saying anything about it. And then he he links the Bible or whatever. And then this person's like, bro, the Gospels didn't see that shit happen. So <laughs> they're all just written about legends. Like the people writing about Jesus didn't actually see Jesus and all that shit. Oh, okay, okay. Now, okay. See, the only reason is because I didn't really understand what, what they meant when they said gospel. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Well, haha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we, we really passed the point of laughing at this one, just trying to figure out yeah. what it means. I took these with my iPhone X camera. Quality, so surreal. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio painted them. Not to be confused with award-winning actor Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio painted them. Oh, man. Wow. I'm pro race, <laughs> and here's why. Some people literally cannot control their urges and have to get off in some way. If a guy or girl forces you into into sex, be glad they think you're attractive enough to waste their time on you. <laughs> Whoa. I think it's dumb, too, that people are getting years for such a dumb quote-unquote crime. Literally, it won't scar you that long. <laughs> oh, yeah. O only, only a few years. Only <laughs> maybe a week and that's it. <laughs> oh, maybe a week and that's it. Oh my god. By you reporting rape, rape, by you reporting <laughs> rape, you're literally ruining someone else's life that cared enough about you to have sex with you. <laughs> sex is supposed to be meaningful. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. If you don't want to be raped, there are many ways to prevent it. If you let it happen, then clearly you want it to happen <laughs> and you deserve it. Oh shit! Woof. Hot take of the century. That mu I'm, that must be bait or like a troll. There's no way. Or maybe it's like a 15 year old that that's groomed to believe There's that. There's no way. Rape is okay. No way. How can you be so daft? Like, how can you, dude? There's. there's I just want to see what people like. What, how people responded on Facebook with this. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't get raped. <laughs>